I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you're watching this channel, you know that fish like structure. What's out there? Hello my fellow fishers and welcome to another episode. I'm David, this is Fishing Southern Maryland. If you enjoy fishing, catching fish, just seeing fish, then this is the channel for you. I am here on a wonderful Monday morning in August. Air temperatures might be in the 70s and climbing and I have found a rock wall along Nan's Cove on the Patuxent. I'm gonna fish this wall, see if I can pick up some white perch. Let's see how we do. I'm starting with a two inch green with a little metal fleck swim bait on a one eighth ounce jig. And I'm casting it along these rocks. Fish like structure. So I'm seeing if they're up close to these rocks. There we go. That's nice. That's going to be a white perch. Smaller one. That's a nice way to start the morning. A little white perch. I see you. Right where I thought you'd be. right along these rocks. Any bigger ones? Two and two cast. He's got that thing all the way down his mouth. He liked that bait. A little bigger, but not really big enough to keep. Get that out of your mouth. Push it back up on there. Right along these rocks. Three and three cast. What in the world was that? Something just jumped out of the way. That's a little bigger one. Again, not really big enough to keep though. So I've pulled up here to the marsh to be able to fish out my baits from the bucket behind me. Making way too much noise, I've probably ruined this area. So while I'm here, I'm going to show you what I did to my jig. If you ever have that problem with your soft plastic sliding off after they've been bitten a few times, this is something that I found that has helped. And I'll show you how I did it as well. But basically, I took a little piece of copper wire and I have bent it so that it goes in the, op the same direction as the hook, except it's going to be opposite of the hook on the side of it and then I just tied it in with a little bit of thread. Basically I've made it into a bait keeper. I found that the bait keepers that are on some jigs will just tear your soft plastics up. So I'll do I do this to try to save my soft plastics. Nice osprey flying right there as we reel in fish number eight. We got another white perch. Yes, we do. At 
we got it paddled up to another rock wall here. It's on there. Okay. Just another white perch for number seven of those. And I thought he had dropped it. Yep, I thought he had dropped it. Even the nub catches them. Just got to get it being in front of them. Yep. Something had bitten the tail off of it. And still perfectly good bait. Just like a little shad style bait now. Rather than having a little boot tail. Just like a little jerk bait. that was I a, didn't have the hook though it would have been nice felt like a good pull felt like a good pull and there's one oh that's a redfish that's another puppy drum Get that out of your mouth, buddy. And let you go. Is that my tenth perch of the day? Yes, sir. Tenth white perch of the day. It's high tide. I found a nice little seawall, a couple of them, casting parallel to it, just popping it here and there. And that's how I found most of my fish today. Hopefully you're getting out, catching some fish as well. Let me know in the comments what you're catching and what you're using. And until next time, tight lines.